How you guys doing out there? A welcome to Sucio Talk. Here we go. Shout outs and ramblings number seven. Uh, I got less uh, less shout outs and more ramblings this time. Uh, but this will be a shorty and a shorty but a goodie. Okay. Um, hope all of you have been well. Um, if you're in the middle of your workout right now, don't be a fucking bitch ass and uh, keep lifting those weights. All right, keep uh, <laughs> keep working those legs. Okay, uh, Sister Talk is meant to be a source of inspiration. Okay, so I know it. Uh, you know, I don't feel energized to do everything I have to do every day. Right? Um, it's just as tough for me as it is for you, but. You know, you gotta conquer your inner bitch ass. You gotta tell that voice that tells you to take the path of least resistance. Give them a firm hell no. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been watching the show Westworld. So if, if you guys have not seen the show Westworld, check it out. Basically, um, it's made after the 1970s movie of the same name and uh, they create this uh, amusement park that is in the west and then the hosts right the the robots the computers that run the the whole uh, the whole like experience start malfunctioning and uh, start having real human emotions Uh, so it's a pretty cool cool show right up my alley so if you guys are looking for something to watch and you have uh, ish ish bo then um, definitely check that out. Road trip starts the twenty sixth, twenty sixth of October. All right. Uh, so I got another job, another ranch. Right, gonna do that for the next days, and then two weeks from now I will be journeying to Denver. Uh, I will be in Denver on the twenty seventh of October. At that point, I will. I got two podcasts that day. One with um, the CDC of this place called Senor Bear. So excited to eat there. Um, he's on Instagram as Monsieur Cochon. Monsieur Cochon. M O N S I E U R underscore C O C H O N. All right. He is, uh, his real name is Sebastian Ramirez Loner. So he is a uh, Puerto Rican dude who reached out to me, CDC of this restaurant in Denver called Senor Bear. So I'm going to go check out Senor Bear. Uh, he also worked at Parcela Gastro Pub and Slowly Smoked. So I'm excited to meet him. Uh, we already have it booked, so it's definitely going to happen. That's going to be the 27th when I'll be in Denver. And then I will have another one from a beverage person uh, whose name is Miles Fisher. Miles Fisher is an old buddy of mine from college. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to chill. And do a podcast. He he works for Peak Beverage, Peak Beverage in Denver. Uh, that's when I went last time and had that that beverage tasting or the wine tasting. And uh, uh, they run a pretty tight ship at that that Peak Beverage place, selling a lot of uh, events. So, like booze events. Like instead of a food truck, they'll do a booze truck. So it's pretty pretty damn cool. All right. So I'll be checking him out, and then the day after that I'm going to uh, Kansas City. Hopefully I can catch up with Bon Joing if he's in town, but we all know that he's all over the he's all over the map. So shout out to him. Um, as a parting gift from this ranch, they gave me a volcano vaporizer. Uh, I have never bought my own volcano. Vaporizer has always been friends giving me the Volcano Vaporizer, but I gotta say that it is amazing. 
Uh, I love that piece of machinery. I don't like vape pens, but if I'm going to vape, I'll definitely use the Volcano. It's a much more sophisticated device, and uh, the power source is electricity, other than those weird batteries they're putting in, in vape pens. So please, guys, stop vaping. Bro, it's not good for you, man. I'm telling you. We've been, people have been smoking weed for, you know, a long fucking time, right? But I'm referring to when it was outlawed and things like that. You know, 40, 60 years, and everyone's been completely fine. Other than the incarceration, there hasn't been much uh, detriment to the health, right? But now... the hell was I talking about? So now we see all these um, vape pens and people vaping and I believe that we are going to just like we always do when we invent some new shit uh, also uncover some or invent some new diseases or you know or uh, form some something has to give like something's gonna happen to us all right? I know I smoke weed. I know that's not the best uh health choice right lung wise like i'm just being honest right i love weed but at the end of the day you're putting uh plant matter into your lungs right so lung health is definitely a concern of mine uh and i've thought about you know do i switch to only edibles but edibles are so hard to gauge so i gotta i gotta figure it out and, and i will figure it out uh but until then i'm gonna i'm gonna keep puffing the chiba uh, which brings me to uh, rest in peace, Izel. Izel was the the crackhead character in Friday, the first one. Smokey back here taking a shit. That's who that Izel is. Uh, he passed away, so shout out to him. R.I.P. Uh, great comedian. Uh, and uh, that that part in that movie is always very memorable. Anybody who's seen Friday, that's usually the first uh, impression they'll do of the movie. So shout out to him, um, and condolences to his family. Dave Chappelle's new special, fucking amazing. There's a lot of uh, shit on the news about him trashing uh, LGBTQ uh, community, but I do not think that he is uh, doing that. I think he's he's made his points on the last special. If you if you watch them, also. If guys like that outrage you, it is your choice to go on Netflix and watch that. Um, I don't think he's said anything wrong or offensive. I think at the end of the day, it's for laughs. It's a comedy show. And if we don't begin to preserve the freedom of speech that people have on a comedy stage, I think we're headed for disaster. Um, cause they're trying to cancel him right now and, uh, I haven't seen the latest news, but hopefully they don't, they don't cancel him. Uh, I think that there should be some people in this world who are, um, who can't be canceled. You know, it's like, why cancel him? He's, he's made his jokes. He's explained his reasoning and at the end of the day, they're jokes. And if we're putting all this onus on one man, he is the goat. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but I just think it's, uh, if we give it more importance than it needs, uh, then I feel like it's just defeating the purpose of fighting the, the person who's saying these, uh, these things, you know? So leaving this ranch is, uh, pretty sad. I've worked here since May. A lot of good friends. Uh, shout out to uh, Colson Holland, uh, ex army dog lover, cat lover, special human being. Uh, he's in Seattle as of now, uh, and will continue with my former client. So shout out to you. I hope I'll, I'll see you soon, Mr. Holland. Uh, Brad and Allie Matuska. Shout out to you, uh, ranch managers. Uh, it's a lot to manage a bunch of, you know, gunslinging thinkers. But uh, at the end of the day, 
did a great job. Good summer. Uh, Patrick and Cindy, shout out to you. Very cool uh, meeting. And something that I found out is I get along with older people really well. You know, which uh, which I value. <laughs> Not necessarily a lot of people value it, but I value the fact that you can uh, sit and converse and spend time with people who are from a different time, who have a different set of values. Uh, that, to me, is, is, uh, is everything. So shout out to them. Uh, <clears throat> and it's been a great ride. It's been wild living out here in the middle of nowhere in an area where that's very remote that no one comes to, you know. It's a pretty special feeling. So as I'm leaving here and going to this other uh, lap of luxury ranch down the road, I reflect on my time here and, and what I've learned. And something that I've definitely learned is I am not an outdoor guy, okay? I'm not an outdoorsman. Do I enjoy hiking? Yeah. Do I enjoy camping? Yeah. But, you know, spread out throughout the year maybe. (laughs) Living in a situation like this for so long, just being away from restaurants and the restaurant industry was pretty challenging. Uh, Watching all, you know, everybody get back to being open and and chefing at places and doing all that. You know, you kind of get that that feeling of uh, the the fear of missing out thing. But... I'm glad that I had that feeling because it gave me a chance to really feel it and it gave me a chance to really work through it and understand that everybody's on their own timeline and you don't need to be looking at other people um, with envy or uh, thinking that you should be where they're at or, or you know whatever it is. So just know that you're right where you need to be. Uh, there's nowhere else that you can be except for where you are right now. So be there, be present, look towards the future, uh, but don't let that get down on yourself, okay? Uh, Take it day by day, have a plan for the future, you know, and if that plan doesn't work, have a backup plan. Um, But something that I've been really getting into recently is cryptocurrency, so... um, Check out Dorian Group 82. He breaks it down in a very uh, simple manner. He also has a class for online marketing that you should check out. Dorian Group, Music Group 82, I think. Uh, Check him out on Instagram. He's got a pretty uh, thought-provoking post and things like that. So, you know. Just be be nice to yourself, okay? Because all you got is you. All right, looking forward to after the Denver, right? After the Denver part of the trip, I'll be in, where will I be? Where will I be? Where will I be? Where will I be? Uh, Kansas City. After that, St. Louis, right? After St. Louis, which will be October, I'll be in St. Louis October 28th uh through actually no i'll be there the 20th and 29th i'm gonna give myself two days there because it seems to me like i can finagle a couple of uh more podcasts if i stay more time then i'm gonna go down to nashville i'm gonna stay with jason duck um and i'm gonna drag him to a metal show we're gonna go watch obituary and black label society um, I've always wanted to go to a live show in Nashville, so now I get to do that, and now I get to go to a metal show, which has been so long, and I cannot wait. So that is actually, that show's on Halloween. So I'll be in Nashville from the 30th, the 31st, and uh, the 1st, probably leaving the 2nd, because the 1st, uh, there's a Dia de los Muertos party that Jason Duck is hosting, uh, or his, his company is hosting. So I can't wait to uh, check that out. It'll be fun to uh, maybe put a costume on. Probably not because this is all I have and I'm not I'm not trying to go on a road trip with a, a Halloween costume the entire way through. Uh